Now, let's create a three column blocks on the front page here and we'll put under the slideshow here. Let's go to structure, blocks, add block. We don't need the block title, so we'll hide it with a none tag. For description, we put flan column, three columns, so that we know this is for flan page use. Scroll down. Now for the body, we'll go to a bootstrap website to copy the code over. So let's go to getbootstrap.com to see the example and get the code. Getting started. Examples on the right sidebar here. Scroll down. There are many examples here, but what we need is this three column block. So let's open this template on a new tab. We're going to copy these three columns here. Let's inspect, press F12. We can add the HTML and copy the code back to our Drupal site. Click on source and paste it here. For the first column headings, we give it a name called who we are. The second heading, what we do. And the last one, our services. Scroll down. Region will assign to content. Scroll down. And visibility here we only show on the front page. And save the block. Let's go to the front page and have a look. Okay, not bad. Now we'll link this button to the content we created earlier. So let's go back to the block configuration and do some updates. Click on the source again. The earlier indents is gone. It's difficult to update and edit like this. So we'll adjust the formatting option after this. Let's go to CK Editor using coffee. And press enter, edit the full profile, open the clean up and output. Now under use custom formatting options here, we can turn it on. There's some formatting options we can adjust here. Let's uncheck the third option, we don't need this. You can actually play with it and set according to your own preference. But I will keep these few options checked. Alright, so let's save it and back to the Drupal site. Back to a block configuration. Click on source. Scroll down. Now this time you can see the indent here. It's much easier to maintain and to edit. Now turn off the source. We'll try to make a link here. Click on the link. You notice if we try to make a link to an internal page, for example, link to who we are. There's no easy way to do so. We have to find out the node ID and specify the link manually, right? You will link manually like this. And you could find the node ID, say the node ID is 3, then you'll put 3. So to improve this situation, we'll install a module called CK Editor link. Let's go to the module page. Now it says here this module allows to easily create a links to Drupal internal path through CK Editor link button and dialog. Besides this module, we'll also install another module called Block Class. Now this module allows you to add a class through your blocks interface. I will show you on how it works after this. So please install these two modules and we we'll enable together. Okay, let's enable the module. Go to modules. Search for CK Editor link. 
turn this on another block class turn this on save configuration now after enabling the ck editor link we need to turn it on so let's go to ck editor edit the full profile open editor appearance scroll down let's check ck editor link to turn on the plugin if you don't it will not work now scroll down and save now there's a configuration page for this ck editor link let's copy again type ck editor select a second option There's some general settings you can do here, like the link type name, selected by default, a number of stations. You can also select a particular content types to be available as autocomplete suggestions. We'll leave it as it is. Scroll down. Same goes with taxonomy terms. We can add that as well. Menu items. I think we'll include the main menu. That's mean when we type in the menu title, you will make all the main menu titles to be available as autocomplete suggestions. Let's save configurations. Now back to our blog configuration page. We flash our page. Let's link this to an internal page we have created earlier. Let's continue. Click on link button. Now this time we should see internal path. Select that. Let's type who we are. This link field is an auto-complete text field. It will automatically filter and display the suggestion for you. So we'll just select and click OK. So it's very convenient. Let's continue with the other two. Click OK. The last one. You don't need to type the full sentence. Scroll down a bit. Now if you notice there's a CSS class field added to the block after we install the block class module. Now we can add a class to this block. Scroll up and go to the source. Now we will remove this div element with a class called row. Instead, we will add a class over here. You can also give other class by separating them with a space. Let's give it a name called flan dash tree calls. Now before we save the block, let's add one more class to our button up here. Go up here. We add one more class, call it btn dash primary to change the styling to blue. We'll copy it, paste it here, and the last one, paste it here, scroll down, save the block. Let's check it out. Great, looks good. Now let's inspect element and see where the classes we added to the block. Now here the most outer div of the block it added. Alright, let's check the responsive as well. Resize the browser. Great, that's all. Let's proceed to the next.